Hello, thank you for tuning in to Marlon by Michu. Um, just figured I'd go over some things that are in the store. Maybe do some stuff with styling, because uh, some people have problems with styling. I keep always saying that you should really um, act like this hair is growing out of your head. So styling should not be uh, an issue. All right. I like to use this. Um, I have this short do on my model. She's my model. And um, I always use this claw comb. And, you know, just styling is really ease. Um, moving the hair from one side to the other. Um, messy is always good. So at the end of it, maybe just mess it up a little. I like to use my fingers. Um, you can do a style where you put everything over to one side. This works best with the monos. Oops. This works best with the monos because the monos have that that mono top, which moves the hair around a little bit better. I do have a mono. This is a mono top. So this is what a mono would look like. So you have this, this mesh, almost like what the lace fronts are made out of, but this was always something that they used to call a mono top, which means that it gives flexibility for the front of this. Actually, I'll show you in that wig in one minute. Um, but this is, this is styling. So I have a lot of my women that have problems with styling. So just style it. Um, not a big deal. All right, so the trick is really styling it. Um, some of them have like these permanent bangs and, and a little part here with a skin top. Those are a little bit harder to style. Um, if you like like a more of a, a, a bob with a bang, then you could do that. You can always cut the bangs so that you have a nice bang in the front. So it's up to you. But styling should be easy. Um, like I said, it's really easy with this claw because it pulls the hair right out of your way. If you need it to stay that way, just hairspray it. Synthetic wigs can take hairspray. So can synthetic wigs. So don't don't feel like you, you're, you're in a bind with them. All right? I'll try on. Now, this is that mono I was talking about. And like I said with the mono, um, that whole front piece, so everything in the front moves. It does. It goes like that also in the regular wigs, but you'll find it more so in the monos. Um, so no problem with the monos. You can still, you know, really restyle them. All right, so that would be how it goes. So... Oh, see now you have the flexibility of this, so you can give yourself height, because the hair is able to move, so there's no, you're not confined to how you wear the wig, you're not confined to it, right? Um, like I said, this claw comb really gives you more style, you could do a bang, some people like stuff off their face, so just bring it up a bit, and the hairspray, that'll keep it in its spot. All right, but that's the models. Models are a little bit more expensive um, because of that special mesh top. So they're going to be a little more pricey. They can rent, run you a couple hundred dollars. Um, a lot of the people that are doing chemo are wearing those monos so that they have more flexibility in styling. Um, unless, you know, you wear your hair always the same way. Like some people do like to just always look the same, then you do that. But if, for the people that like to style the hair, um, you get a little more styleability with the mono tops. All right. All right. I think that's good for this video. So more, this is more about styling. I can do a couple of other wigs. And let's do this one because I really like the way that it goes from a full style to a not so full style. So this is another wig that I have in the store. I guess I should be giving you the names. This is Jane. This is one of my favorite wigs. Um, it's my favorite for a couple of reasons. One, I like the company that makes them. Two, I like the versatility of it. Um, you can get some. You can have a really full hairstyle. It's fun. It's it's flirty. Um, it comes in a lot of different colors. Although it's one of those wigs that they're starting to discontinue some of the colors. 
but I'd like to keep this wig in the store if I can. Um, it's front in the back, Ooh. so it's kind of really, really flirty in the back. You can see. Um, and then I like the fact that um, I like the fiber. So again, a lot of stuff you can do with your hands, but it it you can bring the fiber down so that it's not as wild as it looks now. You see how you can just change the look of a wig by just bringing it down with your fingers. All right. So that's what you would do. You just would bring it down. So more of your 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 day look would be more flat down, easy going. And then when you went to night, then you could toss it back up. All right. I really really like this wig. It's called Jane. I only have it in this color and a and a red right now. Um I don't know if the company is going to keep making it up. They probably have something like it. But Jane is eternal. Because it's fun. Good for your, your um, oval faces. Um, not so much for rounds, but oval. Maybe heart. Um, pear shapes probably could wear it. I think the only thing I would stay away from is round and maybe even square. Square just might box it up too much. All right, so that's um, Jane. I like Jane. Um, then I, a lot of your short styles you can move around a little bit. I told you that. Um, then we have the Raquel Welch wigs. They're not really made with a mono top, but their styles are so versatile. Um, they're doing a lot of the asymmetric kind of a cut. Um, so I just, you know what, just, you got to play with them. And that's another thing I tell a lot of my customers. You got to play with them. Playing with them makes all the difference in the world. So you got to play with it, experiment, see how the wig moves. Um, remember that face shapes really plays a difference. So um, everybody can't wear everything. There are some face shapes that can wear everything, but not all face shapes can wear everything. So that's it. Also remember always that you're, your air tab should be on the, stop, the size. I do have customers that will turn the air tabs based on the style that they want from the wig. That's fine. I mean, there's no, no rule that says you have to wear it like that. It just gives you a guide, especially if you're a new wig wearer. Um, this is a Raquel Welch wig. Um, I want to say it's Starlight. I think it's Starlight. I think I might have lost the tag. Oh, no, no, no. It is Starlight. I'm getting better with these wigs. All right, so this is Starlight. It's an asymmetric cut. So the longer side is on your right. Then you got a short here. You could always change this. You can make it where you got a little bit of long hairs on both sides. I mean, it's totally up to you. So now it looks more asymmetric. There's a little bit more hair on this side. Um, you can bring more long hairs on this side. That's the, the beauty of the cap, so it gives you the flexibility to move the hair when you want it. So you're going to have stuff coming over your eyes. But it's still fun. You could always put a clippy hair. You know what? I just bought some, uh, I don't know if it's going to look good with this, but we'll try it. So you gotta, you just got to have fun with it. I just bought these, uh, these little hair things. So yeah, these are those little feathers that they're wearing in their hair now. That looks kind of nice, actually. So yeah, you would put something like that on. You want it to look a little, little more fun. Great for a party, especially the holiday parties that are coming now. You know, some of these little fascinators, but really it's a headband. So if you needed to move hair out of your face, if you wanted to dance, whatever. They're really, really cute. So that's one of the little hair pieces I have down. Um, let's try something long. Shouldn't be taking me too long to get it. Um, let's do something like this. Sorry about that. I'm going to put things closer to so I can grab them easier. This is just a little bob. It's a China, um, China bang. 
which just means that the bang is cut really, really short. Tape it all along it. Again, we, I'll show you that little hair piece again. So here's the hair piece. And again, this is how it looks. Looks really cute. Um, great for the holidays. I think I like it the other way better. Because it lays on your face a little bit better. So yeah, these are the new head pieces. I really like that. And then I bought a bright one, just so it has a little bit more definition on your face. I bought this one. I really like it. I didn't realize there was a right way and a wrong way to wear them, but I like that one. And then I have this one. This is a little brighter. I think it looks better. So yeah, this is how you wear those feathered headbands. So you just put the headband on. So cute. I like that. And so there's the headband. Great for parties, like I said. It just gives you an accent. Try to match it up with the rest of your clothes. This is one that I just made. I made in the store. I figured it's good for your coat or a hat. I'll show it to you on a hat. That's really cute. And then this is one of the hats I had in the store. And I just put the feather on it. So that's the feather on the hat. You can see that. Looks good. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. Whoops. It's the end of it.